Hi there, this is a dubious trap for white in the Evans Gambit declined, but it's attractive nonetheless. It's called the Queen Sack and Double Checkmate. It starts off as an Italian e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and bishop c4 and bishop c5, the Italian, where white throws in the move b4, the Evans Gambit, offering up that b pawn, but in this variation, black declines the offer and retreats the bishop back to b6. a4 threatens to push on to a5, so black's going to provide the bishop on b6 with a flight square, so the move a6 does the job, freeing up a7 for the bishop once a5 is played by white. The bishop drops back to that hole in a7, and white now tries b5. Not a bad try, but black is certainly at least equal here. After a takes on b5 and bishop takes on b5, black can try knight f6. But bishop a3 ensures that the black king isn't going to castle in a hurry. If knight takes on e4, there was another pawn up for offer. Nothing wrong with that. Queen e2 can put pressure on the on the knight and black would be doing best here with a move like bishop takes on f2 and black would be pressing for a win if instead knight takes on f2 that's certainly inferior then white might consider knight takes on e5 white's close to equality here maybe knight to e7 and then to castle would be black's best option. But if black tries a very obvious and tempting move, knight to d4, which hits the queen. And if the queen wants to stay rooted on the e-file, then if queen to e3, knight takes c2 is check. And that's going to be winning for black. So after that move, knight to d4, it looks as if black's doing well. But white has a lovely line here with knight takes on d7. That's check happily voluntarily giving up the white queen because if after knight takes on e2 then it's game over after knight to f6 that's a double check and the other bishop cuts off the king's flight squares that's checkmate so this has been the queen sack and double checkmate in the evans gambit decline thanks for watching bye